Hi guys, it's me and I'm back and I've got some updated news. Have you guys heard now that the number is up to at least 10 ex-aides of Meghan Markle and Harry are queuing up to assist in the bullying probe? Full disclaimers located in the description. This video is for entertainment only and just my opinions. Let's move right up and get started. Gosh, I've already got several more ready to, to come out too. Thank you, Luis, for sending this to me and give credit to Royal Instablog on the Instagram page. Go give her a follow. She's awesome. And uh, she posted this from the mirror. Exclusive royal um, aides of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been given assurances of confidentiality by the palace as they queue up to be involved, with a source telling the mirror that they have been silent for way too long. So at least 10 of the aides who worked for Duke and Duchess of Sussex are queuing up to assist in this probe, claims Meghan bullied her staff, the mirror can reveal. The investigation covered by the Queen or excuse me, the investigation ordered by the Queen will examine claims Meghan humiliated aides, subjecting them to emotional cruelty and manipulation, driving out two personal assistants. After the palace issued a statement announcing the probe on Wednesday, a trailer for Prince Harry and Meghan, the Oprah Winfrey interview was releasing yesterday and showing the Duchess accusing the Queen and senior royals of perpetrating lies about them. In the theatrical 30-second clip, U.S. chat Queen, Oprah, age 67, asked Meghan, How do you feel about the palace hearing you speak your truth today? And I think she goes on to say something like, you know, I think that they expected it. Sources connected to the group told how those involved were all considered to be hugely professional and proud of their efforts while working at Kensington Palace. One said, a group of people are queuing up to be involved. They have been silent for too long and there's too much to talk about. Senior royals are understood to be dismayed at reports that young female staff had been reduced to tears, with one aide reportedly anticipating a confrontation with Megan, telling a colleague, I can't stop shaking. Now, one of my viewers said in the comments, um, in my I think my last video, they mentioned that, you know, uh, while the palace made mistakes, it may not have necessarily been the queen that... Um, that somewhere along the line, the buck stopped and maybe it was Harry that put a stop to it. Uh, I would be curious to know whether or not Prince Charles knew and he should have been taking care of the situation and maybe he did know and just avoided it. Buckingham Palace has said it is very concerned by the bullying accusations first reported in the Times. Palace sources said the Queen was completely right to order the probe in the face of new allegations. The aide set to become involved work for the couple in October of 2018 when a complaint against Megan was lodged by the Sussexes Communications Secretary Jason Knopf. Palace sources told how the issue was investigated at the time, but the aides named in an email by uh, Knopf chose not to proceed with the complaint against their boss. One source said the complaint was considered and those members of staff were spoken to and given the option of taking it further. For whatever reason, they decided not to. Possibly they were still in their job and they were worried about the implications. Past and present employees are to be invited to speak in confidence about their experiences of working for the Duchess. To fully examine the allegations, Megan would have to be a part of proceedings, but it is not clear what role, if any, she will play in the process. Well, I don't think she should be able to listen to them give testimony, um, especially, you know, not as they're given it. Maybe she could listen to the recording of it and then issue her part. But when you felt bullied by someone and intimidated, it's not going to be easy to testify when that person is looking directly at you, whether it's in a court of law, whether it's in a meeting, whether it's in a Zoom call. A source close to the Sussexes said of the palace's announcement of the probe on Wednesday night, the first we heard about this was via the press. 
this is a uh, tit for tat scenario. So they're trying to say that it's the palace uh, hitting back at Harry and Meghan because of the interview with Oprah. It's not the palace. This is the staff and the palace is a business and has to react to it. It's not a complaint. We haven't heard anything, but it's very hard to know what the process is. If this was a private company, we'd effectively already been fired, and I'm not entirely sure what process could be. There has been a long speculation about the atmosphere in the Sussex household after a number of staff have left. Number 10 was dragged into the row after it was reported that Cabinet Secretary Simon Case was made aware of the bullying allegations against Meghan while at Kensington Palace as private secretary to Prince William before the probe was shelved. A source said, despite it not being Simon's job, he took a firm interest in the claims and was absolutely against anyone being made to feel uncomfortable at their place of work. Asked if Boris Johnson was concerned his own cabinet secretary might have covered up allegations of bullying, the Prime Minister's spokesman said, It is a matter for the palace. He said the Prime Minister had full confidence in uh, Mr. Case. Buckingham Palace did not comment. Despite the furor over Harry and Meghan and Prince Philip's poor health, the Queen carried on with her duties, holding her weekly audience with the Prime Minister by phone on Wednesday. Yesterday, she had a phone audience with the Chief of the Air Staff, Air Chief Marshal Sir Michael Wixton. A palace post said they spoke of the RAF's commitment to supporting the nation's response to the pandemic. So. Um, this is the end of this story. I want to continue on with some more things, but um, actually, let's see. Let's do a couple more. This is credit to uh, uh, Kalita, and this was um, something that she had found, and I don't know because I want to be able to give them credit, but it said group post by Leslie Mason Ridley, and I don't know if she found this on Quora or, um, or where. Karen Middleton has turned down a publicity drive for a magazine interview as she didn't want to seem insensitive while Prince Philip was in the hospital. The 66-year-old, who runs a party supply company called Party Pieces, took part in an interview with Good Housekeeping in January and will feature on the front page of the April edition. But Carol Middleton has asked the publishers not to promote it, worrying it would be insensitive toward Prince Philip while he remains in the hospital. Let me read a few more viewer comments. This is from Becky. This was a regular occurrence that even in official visits, she stayed a short time. There's a, she's talking about the last video and when she um, didn't want to stay in the market when she was on the Australian tour and specifically at Fiji. She was very clearly bored from the beginning of royal life. I know someone that waited for hours for her to turn up at a school for a visit. For some reason, they turned up at a back entrance and left about 15 minutes later. People that realized where her car was were shouting, hello. She completely ignored them as she left. Megan got into her car. People had been waiting for hours. She was supposed to greet people. There was a little girl who had been, um, who had, excuse me, who had been there picked to give her flowers. She was left in tears. This is part of the reason people got upset with her. She regularly only turned up at events for a very short time. She also refused to mix with the people unless there was a camera about. This was clear from the start, so it makes sense that the Fiji market was cut short. Jade says, I'm looking forward to this all coming out. TikTok time is running out for Rachel's lies and behaviors. Scobie also did a terrible interview, and we're going to get on to that. That's going to be another one on GMB. Thank you for letting me know, Jade. And it was basically uh, where he was accused of them bullying. It was beautiful. Hopefully, that interview will be up on YouTube, and I'll be doing a video on that. So thank you for letting me know. Andrea says, but still little about Megan uh, prior marriage prior to her marriage to Harry. Yes, we know that, um, or don't know, the family background, but rather a lot is missing, or perhaps there's a little there. Must have put a uh, shut-up order on the two husbands uh, before Harry. This wasn't reported by the media whilst she was in the royal family. We heard that um, 
before the announcement that she was Harry's girlfriend, that they had uh, people completely scrub the internet, allegedly, of all of the um, the things that Megan had posted and asked her to shut down her social media accounts, which she never did really uh, shut them down. She just didn't post anything while she was there. And uh, it goes on to say that um, she would have been protected uh, what the papers would have printed, not so much of a gag, gag order, but by, out of respect for the royal family. The palace have, a, excuse me, of course, been keeping the lid on all this. Only one thing left, Harry to fall on his sword, give up the titles, put up and shut up. I really can't understand why Megan opened this can of worms. Ace card up her sleeve. Oh, like what? The measure of Megan was, and I'll say it again, Frogmore. No happy with, uh, not happy with her accommodations in Australia. Oh yes, Megan and Harry did a bunk off to Canada, not because they wanted freedom and to earn their own living, simply because Megan couldn't control the narrative. Lady Iris, yes, this is all true about the video. Um, I'm Australian. The Governor General is the representative of Queen Elizabeth II in Australia. It was Sir Peter Cosgrove who made a formal complaint to the Queen, um, Her Majesty, that Meghan Markle is gutter trash, has no manners, and that that special hat is made from rabbit fur. They don't have to kill the rabbit. Uh, they just pull the hair when it malts and then uh, spin it to make the cloth. Also note rabbits are imported pest here. So she refused to wear it. Harry had worn it in the past and um, Harry decided not to wear his hat. They said Megan didn't want to mess up her hair or wig line. So uh, Truth Seeker uh, 20201 on Instagram says, um, he posts Richard Palmer at Royal Reporter. Megan's direct attack on the royal family has ratcheted up the dispute to unprecedented levels. In today's Daily Express, we report senior figures inside the royal household were incensed by a claim that Buckingham Palace was using the media to peddle a whole false narrative, which is what Meghan Markle's um, team and lawyers are doing. And we know that's not something that the palace would do. But because the palace is investigating, they're trying to make out that the palace is um, the one spearheading this uh, smear campaign. Totally false. So that's the end of this video. I'll be back. I've got a few more to make, and I'll get those done for you as quickly as possible. Thank you for watching, and um, we'll just keep pumping these out for you guys. Talk to you soon.